Ray has uh, been, you might say, uh, a pioneer in the resurrection of the direct action movement. We think about the movement in many different forms. But when we think about um, the freedom rides, as an example of the direct action movement, Ray has brought that back on the table in the presence of global challenges. And we have yet to know the full impact and meaning of that um, action that Ray took to write the book, but mainly to resurrect the people and to bring them together. But more importantly, the whole idea of collective action. People coming from so many different places. The freedom rights were singularly uh, unique in that regard. So the contribution that he has made in his own field, but it stretches beyond the historian. He's talking about impacting the future, not only of this country, but the future of our world and how we address the problems in our world. So I'm pleased to be with him. Whenever he calls me, I'll answer. Because I know that we can never really thank him enough for what he's done with his life at this point in bringing the life of the direct action movement back on the table. Let's give him another round of applause. so well until it becomes everybody's thing. And that's what life is all about. How well can you do your thing? Yeah, that's it. I uh, understand the provost is here and I want to recognize the provost for taking our time as a busy schedule. I used to be president of the college, I know. And uh, to give uh, special uh, recognition and presence to your event. I am absolutely enthralled every time I come and get a chance to talk to an audience in Tampa, Florida. Because this is where I was born, in Tampa, Florida. Across the street from the Habitapa Cigar Company, on 8th Avenue. Which if you haven't been there, you know, that's where the start sites. And across the street, next door to where I was born, is another statue. It's a monument there. Is it one thing was there? I think so. Yeah. Juan Talavera. Yeah. That's, is that something? Yeah. That, that's where he lived when he was in exile, I came from Cuba, uh, before I was born, of course. But uh, I grew up under those vibes, right on that same land, yeah, where that statue is. I was next door to where I was born, in the house. I was born in the house. I had a wife the very moment I was born, a midwife. <laughs> So I've never been without a wife. <laughs> yes. But you know, I was just thinking the other day, and we'll talk about Martin Luther King a bit, that um, one of the reasons why I am involved in the things that uh, Ray is talking about, and even when I was involved in the Freedom Rides sit-ins and 
We desegregated the movie theaters in Nashville. Every movement took place. Uh, and I think that when you think about change, uh, there are four stages of change. The first stage is identity. And that is as long as you retain and maintain your identity, your identity, you don't change. But it's when you are exposed to other things, awareness, that you become conscious of the fact that there is a different way of looking at life or different experiences that you could have in life. That's why travel is so important. You can't really know one country unless you know two, because by comparison and association and, and disassociation <laughs> and other factors, then you begin to know and begin to understand your own country once you understand another. So we encourage you. I'm so glad this university is global in its vision. Make sure you go to other countries. Yes. Don't wait until you retire. Because you see the exposure that you're going to have growing up is going to impact your life. Yes. So, uh, the identity and that awareness of other ways of life, other people, in that kind of interaction. And that's another thing that I like about the university. It's multicultural, multi-ethnic. Okay? Yes. That's very important. Because of your education means that you are a global citizen. Yes. You didn't just live in the neighborhood. Hey, you were born in this world. And you know what? They haven't told you about this, but I'm here to let you know. So it's no longer a secret now, because I'm going to tell you. This is your world. Yeah. <clears throat> this is your world. You were born in this world. Okay? Yeah. So, therefore, since you were born in this world, this is your world, then you have to live in this world, then you need to have some say-so about this world. So you need to know the world if you're going to be a part of the world. 